Hey guys, Nicole here. In today's video, I'm going from straight to curly. My hair has been straight for three long weeks and I am missing my curls. So it is time to go back to curly. So if you watch my shop with me video at Ulta, you know I picked up some new products and that is the Shea Moisture Manuka Honey and Yogurt Hydrate and Repair line. And I haven't reviewed this line on my channel yet because I wanted to try it out for a little bit and I've actually been using it for almost two months now. So I figured this would be the perfect time to try it out on camera and to review it for you guys. Started off with the Hydrate and Repair Shampoo and let me just tell y'all, even though it says it's a shampoo, it's really creamy and soft on my hair. The look of it looks kind of like pearls and um, it does lather so that had me really really excited because um, I don't like harsh shampoos but I do like a little lather every now and then and I actually was able to detangle my hair once I had it all over my head so it's really really soft so if you're someone who likes shampoos this will be great for you. I went ahead and conditioned off camera when I rinsed out the shampoo but I wanted to show you all how thick this conditioner is. It was super thick and it felt so moisturizing. So next I went in with the Hydrate and Repair Protein Power Treatment and this stuff is even thicker than the conditioner but it glides in like butter. It does not go in the way it feels when you get it out of the jar and my hair absolutely soaked all of this up and loved it. Um, and it is said to strengthen and protect and it's for extremely dry and brittle hair. That's the claim for the entire line actually and I wanted to use this to bring my curls back because whenever you do heat style your hair can be weakened or um, dry and brittle from the heat styled so. so after I rinsed that out I went in with the multi-action leave-in and let me just say when I saw it in the bottle I was a little skeptical it's really watery and runny but once I sprayed it onto my hair I was thoroughly surprised it was so creamy and moisturizing and the one thing I love is that it does not spray out in one straight shot like it's a mist not just you know a squirt and so since it was feeling so moisturizing I decided to go on top with just a gel and to see how well it worked by itself and I did use the black castor and flaxseed oil eco styler gel on top and since y'all see me do wash and goes a million times we're just going to skip to the next product and that is the split in balm and I can say this is probably the product that I was the most excited about getting especially after some of the reviews and this is very very thick so you have to take your nail and kind of dig into it and warm it up in your hands before you apply it and all you do is just apply it to the ends only the ends and it's really tacky and sticky and I've seen some people apply it before they actually put on their styler but I don't see how they did that because I can't get my fingers through it after I apply it and it kind of clumps your curls together and creates this protective barrier which is perfect when your hair gets to a length where it starts rubbing so I absolutely love this balm I really love this entire line it has got my curls back and popping and I will say that if you are someone who does a lot of heat as in blowouts or you like to diffuse this is probably a really good line for you to kind of protect and hydrate your hair in between and during those times when you are heat styling but that is all guys I hope you enjoyed this video I'll see you next time this is something about what curly hair can do for you like straight hair can't give you all this life I don't care how hard I don't care how hard you try it's just something about that curly hair